Good morning. Good afternoon. Depends on where you are. Thanks very much for joining this webinar today. Well, I'm Jessica with marketing department in my site. Today, let's talk about something about 5G, the 5G applications with my site 5G ready routers. Moving through what we are going to be covering today, what we are going to discuss today is we are going to be look at the 5G ready industrial cellular router. Sometimes we call it gateway. And UR75 5G model that we are speci specifically going to be paying attention to today. And we are going to be taking a little bit of time to go through the features, specifications of this model. And we are also going to be taking a little bit of time to go through some of the software, uh, I mean the firmware. And we are also going to take a look at a bit of a deeper case study, especially how our Chinese company managed to achieve smart transport, smart road network management. And we are going to spend a little bit of time in product selection as there are several optional models in the UR75 series. So we have put something together to hope uh, to hopefully make it a little bit easier for you to select which model is you are going to be potentially interested, um, interested in as time goes on. And if you have any question as we go, please type it in the question box. So moving through, this is a bit, this is a bit of an infographic to highlight where our 5G industrial cellular router sits in the big world, the big IoT world. And one of the things I want to sort of probably take a little bit of time, you know, just to sort of say, say up some say up front, you know, is that a router. The router is basically a device that sees as a part of a data requisition or a network infrastructure. In this uh, cases, particularly when we are talking about the cellular in a remote location where you can attach the devices or systems uh, to the device, uh, to this router, and then get data into your private network. So. As some examples of the industries that we can be looking at when it comes to industrial cellular routers, we could be talking about um, the CCTV and security, and we could be looking at transportation. We could be looking at rovers, telemedicine, uh, telemedicine, and we could be looking at industrial automation. As long as you start thinking beyond, let's say, the traditional factory, this is exactly where the cellular routers come into play. So traditionally, we, we would go with, let's say, low data rate serial, Ethernet, uh, Ethernet networks fiber. When we talk about cellular coverage uh, effectively, the only thing with cellular coverage, cellular coverage can be integrated as part of your operations. Just on the size that we have got a few graphics, which we are going to talk about as things go on. We've talked about some of the protocols that can be supported, um, such as MQTT, Modbus, and most importantly, VPNs. Now, VPNs are something that we are going to in a little bit more depth. The thing that makes the routers really, really powerful, particularly on these cellular routers, is that um, the VPN allows you to take these routers uh, wherever they are and basically turn it into your private network without all of the pri um, all of the previous. Uh, the legacy problems that we had with things such as needing the public IP address from your carriers or without any these security issues that go with the cables. And up top, we can see where the information can go. So we are talking about cloud platform there. We have got the management packages, the management packages such as the mile site device hub, the mile site VPN, as well as sending information to your traditional SCADA servers and the like. 
And on the other side, we are going to talk about some of the software that can be used on these routers, such as the Python, Python SDK, and the fact is actually running Linux, a uh, Linux operating system in the device. Okay, so the first thing that we are going to have a look, uh, have a look at is the UR75. There are two models, okay. The only is the UR75-5G is what we are going to talk about. And um, so you can see the UR75G on the left side is our uh, model. And it comes with much more antennas, like a Spider-Man, uh, like a spider, many antennas. So when we look at UR75 5G, I would probably say that that's the most advanced model from our cellular router product folio uh, at present. So when it comes to the specif specification on it, one thing to be aware is that the UR75 5G actually use the same software and predominantly most the same hardware as the previous uh, UR75 4G models. So they are very, very common. And when it comes to power, power in terms of getting this uh, routers getting up and running, we are looking at wide voltage range on the DC side. So if you have got anything between 9 to 48 volts DC, um, these routers will get up and running. So automatically, well, if you give the power. And in terms of the connection, uh, you have got seven SMA, uh, SMAs. You have got four there for the cellular connection antennas, one for GPS antenna, as well as two reverse SMA for the Wi-Fi connection. So they basically depend on the antennas that can be, um, that are being used. You can't really get antennas get wrong about their uh, antenna interfaces. And internally, we are looking at f uh, the 8 GB memory um, in hardware. And if you want to double the memory life, then you can get 4 GB in P PSLC mode. But being Linux operating system, the things boot up very, very quickly. So you have uh, you are not waiting for the system to get to take a very long time to cycle up and get up just quickly. In the running terms of the temperature specification, you are looking at minus 40 centigrade to 70 centigrade. So whatever you need this thing to go on, um, they are probably going to outlast the people who are installing them. And so that means you have got a lot of robustness um, in the field. And you have got built-in port, such as your five Ethernet ports, and one RS-232, one RS-485 serial port, as well as a digital input-output interface. When it comes to the cellular connection, um, it's 5G units, you know. So that means if you uh, it also does have the 4G and 3G for back on the HSPA, GPRS, and H protocols. And when you have actually got uh, is the feature that with the UR75 5G router, is you have got the dual SIM, okay, both SIM. So that means if you are uh, spread across, across two carriers, or you, you lose the you lost coverage with one network. You have got another network to fall back um, automatically. And that coverage takes about 24 seconds. It takes about 24 seconds to transfer networks if one carrier goes down. And finally, especially when the wireless enabled unit, you have also got GPS capability over there, support for the GLANners so that you know exactly where this device is particularly uh, if you are looking for it. And you know restructuring 
uh, more of a dynamic environment. And also, you have got built-in feature there for Wi-Fi as well, um, both you know 2.4G and 5G Wi-Fi, not five generation, okay, but five gigabit. And then you have got the advanced uh, security features as part of the internal software. And in our routers, we use Linux, which is open source. A mouse-side device hub, which is a device management platform. It can be a great tool management um, for the router's remotely management and to do different rules and applications. And mouse-side VPN, which is for the remote access of remote location at the edge of the network. The VPN is for the secured connectivity and it helps people access the devices and their applications anywhere around the world. So moving on with the UR75-5G, you can see at the very top there, uh, the part number, okay, mm, for those, uh, it's quite extensive, you know. Now we are going to cover this in a little bit more depth, particularly at the end of the presentation, to help you figure out which models are going to be more suitable for you. And when you uh, first start to look at this, to look at mouse side products. But one of the features when it comes to the UR75 5G is being able to get PoE, mm, PSE, as the power sourcing equipment models. Well, what's that mean? Okay, mm, it means the power over the internet and power sourcing equipment this unit can basically support um, the PoE standard protocols. So that means this pulse can give you um, 13 through 25 and a half words per port, per PoE port. And the power of internet is provided through all four ports and which are highlighted um, from the LAN1 to LAN4 in the front band, uh, panel, okay? of the device. And what's the difference between the power requirements are is that the power supply to run mouse side UR75 5G routers needs to be um, 9 to 48 volts. So uh, where's the voltage range on the PoE line itself is 48 volts, 24 watt. Um, so that going to be able to power most of your powered devices when they are attached to the PSE connection. So when we look at power sourcing equipment, this is the type of example that we would be seeing. We could we can see that we have got our network on the left hand side and all our firewalls set up, and then we have our router with the power supply connected directly to the unit. And handing off those Ethernet ports, we have got different example products and devices, such as the CCTV camera, such as the IP camera, um, ICP camera, and you could be looking at Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi uh, access points, and also the network attached storage, whatever it is that is power of internet as a device. Well, some customers asked if this router can be used as the PoE PD, as the power device. I think the answer is no. We cannot make it happen at present. And one of the most important things that we need to think about, particularly when it comes to cellular, are the supported bands. Uh, now the mouse side 5G louder supports that, I would say, probably the common bands of 5G and 4G. So we have got N41, N77, N78, N79, anything, anyway. Well, because that's the band that's, that all of our carriers actually support. And with this units, basically, uh, straight, straight just out of the box, uh, the internal commands module um, is going to be able to negotiate an interface with the cellular carrier that we have got in your own country. And since 
these routers are based on Linux, which is an open source operating system. So we actually built off kernel um, 4.4.47 at present. And we also have the SDK for the customers to they can develop their own apps. And they can configure device through either web GUI or the command line interface. So we have a mix of proprietary and open source software. And customers, they can add actual functionality to the operating system, such as adding Python support that won't be normally standard out of the box. And next, this is a bit of uninspired side, a little boring. I have just pointed out some of this, the main features, such as HTTP, HTTPS, um, Telnet, SSH, FTP now. And when I talk about SSH and FTP, this is communication to the router. So you can SSH and FTP into the router itself. And the one thing to point out, you can get full router, um, the, you can get full um, the root access to the device with our root permission. Um, because it's disabled, uh, disabled by default when it's out of factory. So you have, uh, you, you can get full access to the underlying operating system. Um, if you are Linux minded, if you are professional at that, you can change the update, the update, add libraries at your own risk uh, if you contact with my side support team. And in terms of the networking protocols, um, it's pretty standard. Um, DHCP, dynamic DNS, QO, uh, QoS, virtual router redundancy, VLANs, OSPF, VPN or tunneling. And um, we support IPsec OpenVPN, which ties into our Milesite VPN and the PBTP layer 2 tunneling protocol and the GRE firewall um, URL blocking and industrial protocol support, such as the TCP client and TCP server, UDP Modbus RTU to Modbus TCP. And this is our operating system that we can maintain the full control of that. So it's not just a louder, but it's also an open development, open development platform. We can provide Python, Python SDK um, based on 2.7 version. So you can write your own applications on this device. And so you are not locked Mm, just locked in what we offer from the router. So your imagination is free to run wide here. And if, if you can run the Python scripts program, just go ahead. And we take it one step further, turning it into an industrial IoT router by using Pythons. So we can, mm, we can send your data up to Microsoft Azure and Amazon Web Services. And these are already applications that we have got our existing customers for worldwide using. And also we support industrial protocols. We can convert Modbus TCP and RTU. And just to touch briefly on the software platform support, we have the Milesite Device Hub for management and the provisioning of all our gateways. So you can send group updates for the firm, firm firewalls and updates for the firewalls and updates for the configuration to a number of devices um, simultaneously. And I think my personal favorite feature, um, I think is the Milesite VPN. Milesite VPN for is for our management VPN solution. Uh, it allows you have all your devices connect back to a central point and help you join your network effectively without needing public IP address. 
This is a tool which dramatically simplifies the process of setting up site-to-site -site VPNs between your headquarters and your branch offices or between your branches to your data center, uh, whatever it happens to be. And that technology really just eliminates many of the manual steps that previously are required for VPN settings. Um, they also make it significantly easier to get past all of these N8 issues, which you often run into when you are getting a site-to-site -site VPN setup. And let's just have a very quick 5G promise timeline. Um, despite the COVID-19 crisis, you know, 5G um, continues to progress at a robust pace. Uh, in terms of deployments and subscribers, and I'm up, I'm personally I'm very optimistic, positive. Um, this technology it will continue throughout 2021, and I feel great um, about the progress and situationary. Network operators are quickly moving ahead with 5G network deployments nowadays, and we expect to see the start of the transitions toward 5G standalone networks during this whole year and 2022. And this is the difference between 3G, 4G, and 5G. When 5G, I mean, uh, when before 5G, when 3G arrived, or when we test you start started using 3G, it was like a door had been opened that we could see, we could um, all step through into it, into a high speed world uh, through our mobiles, and technically. These speeds are all well and good, but most 3G connections barely get beyond 5 megabits per second. And it's usable, but it's not so fast enough for the real world use today. And now I think everybody familiar with 4G, I think um, just for daily use, like um, to, to send a message, to make a phone call, and it's enough. And, f and LTE, 4G LTE, the actual 4G standard, um, dedicates speeds of the 1 uh, megabits per second when moving and 1 gigabit per second when stationary. But unfortunately, real world speeds are more likely to be uh, between 5 megabits per second and 25 megabits per second. So 4G LTE is a term um, used by networks when they really mean LTE is not actually 4G. Okay, the delay in 5G hitting the streets is due to lack of the confirmed 5G standard. And in the meantime, mobile networks have extended the bias of 4G standard they comply with and are actually starting to get ever closer to that one gigabit per second promise. And 5G is being deployed now, opening up exciting new opportunities for users from, various, from different industries, various, uh, various industries. And we have identified the most important use cases, including the vehicles, immersive uh, inter entertainment, and industrial robotics. First, let's see a case study. is the traffic uh, observation and the situation assessment. You know, almost every day we are facing the same challenge on the way to the office and back home, stuck at traffic lights that never seem to change to green. Well, it's always red. And sitting in the in the in the sitting in the cars in our um, in our buses that stretch, uh, you know, hundreds of meters long. And it's usually a time-consuming and frustrating process that a lot of drivers have to go through almost every day to find their um, sport or parking lot. 
The new technology combines with 5G and sensors and AIoT enabled cameras can deal with、uh, these transport issues effectively in the smart way. First, let's see what's the purpose. Well, of this project, it had basically said down that、um, the customer needs to replace the、uh, entire existing communication network at a thousand sites, and then also install up to hundreds new sites as part of their own infrastructure, or making use of 5G cellular networks. And besides the IP cameras, they also wanted to deploy a few sensors to follow up the environmental changes. You know,、uh, Chi- Chinese government is now pushing hardly,、um, very positively about the 5G use. So the, cha- the challenge that they need to overcome the first. Um, was being able to transmit data from cameras as quickly as possible in a secure wireless way, and also can support sensors、uh, at the same time. The different types of size, different needs, and requirements of each location, but also integrate、uh, those products onto the same network,、um, onto the same. Size when it came to installation and making sure that downtime was assured as possible, and there was the security redundancy and also the scale of the rollout itself. And you know, modern traffic observation and assessment system often make use of a combination of cameras and sensors in the road itself. To monitor the traffic density, but sometimes it's very difficult to handle those issues. Cameras are operated locally and the data analyzed manually, and the traditional video storage way leads to information island. So, thanks to the rich interfaces in the cellular router,、uh, multiple devices can be connected harmoniously. Um, simultaneously to the UR75、uh, 5G router, such as the maximum four units of cameras through the PoE ports, a sensor、uh, with through the S232 port, a traffic information signage through the digital input, and a traffic controller through the S485 port. <coughs> and for the safety of the data transmission between the endpoints. And control center, we can use the multi-site 5G router, which provides a redundant dual SIM option and simplifies the process of setting up IPsec VPN. <coughs> Excuse me. And surveillance cameras, they can connect it to the router through the PoE ports. The real-time video feedback from the cameras can also be viewed at the control room through the 5G high-speed cellular network. And the cameras, they can automatically read the vehicle numbers when they pass the control points. The photos are processed and converted into a simple text by the camera, and sent to the monitoring center through a secure encrypted IPsec VPN tunnel offered by the. Multi-site 5G router, and when the traffic congestion occurs or bad weather conditions sensed, the operators they are able to take countermeasures or take a reaction to active the predefined settings that reroute, reroute, or、uh, guide the traffic to less crowded roads or streets. Using the multi-site router, this will prop. Provide the fully redundant gigabit connections to the application server for many of our surveillance cameras, sensors, and traffic devices. And you know, in recent years, as the artificial intelligence industry develops, various intelligent、uh, robots have been created, designed such as the industrial robots. Or inspection robbers, medical robbers, or construction robbers, and so on. Many. This is the case that we are cooperating with our、um, 
vendor, another vendor in Xiamen City to help the robot vendor、uh, make faster data collection and processing in 5G network. Let's see what's their targets, their purpose to resolve.、Um, Silver robots assist our human being typically by performing a job that is dirty, that are boring, distant, dangerous, or、uh, repetitive. So, including household household these robots household works, and they typically are、uh, operated by a built-in control system with manual override、uh, options. You know. So our customer, they want to develop a greater、um, time-sensitive networking in 5G connects the routers to the intelligent in the edge cloud, and integrate the distance sensor inside,、uh, camera inside in one monitoring point, and of course use the 5G networks to cooperate 4G as well. And our partner told us they were trying the four G router before. I think four G router is also qualified、um, to meet their requirements, but they want to be better, faster, and comparing to the five G technology, there are some advantages of four G itself, such as the low transmission rate. And such as the high latency, and the low in intelligence degree, and also lack the predictive maintenance. <coughs> so, I think that challenge is bring by the 4G technology itself. What's the solution? Well, the robots,、uh, which have been integrated with our 5G router,、uh, inside. And internally, and can solve their data transmission, can solve their edge computing and equipment maintenance,、um, improving the performance and efficiency. So, in this specific case, a high definition IP camera is embedded into the robot and connect to the UR75 5G router through the PoE Ethernet port. It means both power supply and wireless high-speed network they are available at the same time. The inside distance sensor is connected through the RS485 port for sensing the status of robot, and UR75 it supports NSA and SA dual mode. So, it、uh, 2.8 gigabits、mm, downlink speed and one MS delay and me. Meeting the requirement of real-time video transmission for the service lovers. So finally, let's see some ordering information.、Um, as so, as we are starting to now get towards the end of presentation, we want to look at some how can we help you to order the right、uh, model、um, that you can find from this screen,、uh, this slide. That different model has different extend extensive、um, number, okay, character, and、uh, sometimes you may easily to mistaken 4G and 5G、uh, together. But anyway, we suggest you to contact with your sales account before placing the order, okay. And most importantly. Uh, out of the box, the the router, the product will come your、uh, come with the thin rear clips and wall mounting installation kit、um, that will come with your power and your、um, power adapter, serial connector, and other accessories such as antennas together.、Uh, the package、uh, included those kind of accessories、uh, at free cost. It's all. Included. So, finally, let's see what we have、uh, learned or what we have shared today. I think、um, our first 5G ready cellular router. Next year, we would like to introduce 
some other different types or this year maybe um, we are going to have a new model a new member in this cellular router product line so um, maybe after our Chinese New Year okay and I think um, we can provide you the cellular router um, itself is a high qualified high quality and guaranteed performance with rich industrial interfaces and a very fast Wi-Fi connection very stable um, 5G cellular connection and all the necessary accessories and besides that we can provide you some uh, value-added software the mile site device hub and mile site VPN software they are free to use and also the router is just a, not only a router is more than a router because you can develop your own applications through our Python SDK and mm, the system forwarded data to Amazon Web Services Azure system and forward to your uh, SCADA server through the Modbus interfaces and you can enjoy both 2.4G and 5G Wi-Fi for better range and higher performance speed and also well I think it depends worldwide um, 5G uh, has different development but I think um, it's very close and um, to lending in our daily life so thanks guys thanks very much for joining this webinar uh, see you next time bye bye